Hey everyone, we are here at Rookwood Pottery Company in OTR, where I am actually going to be glazing and creating, I don't know the proper terms, uh, firing the uh, actual pot that I threw a couple weeks ago. It's pretty exciting. I'm going to go take it home. So this is my friend. Go introduce yourself to Hi, our viewers. I'm Lorraine. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and what is your title here, Lorraine? I'm the glaze team lead, so... All right. And so the glaze is another word for like... Color. Paint color, painting it. Painting, okay. Yes. Sure. All right. So what? how does this step in the process work? So first step, we pull our glaze. We have to sieve all our glazes. It's a bunch of particles and sediments that are mixed in this glaze in the water that creates okay. our color. We use stains, minerals, whatever you want to say Got to it. create color. Okay. Um, the glazes and our spray gun. So that's a glazer spray gun? Spray gun. Okay. Spray that's gun. kind of what you use for like cars, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Spray there. We use air pressure. We're just going to sieve our glaze, so that means we're just going to strain it. Okay. We strain the color. We add on a couple of layers to get the color to build up, make sure it's the deep blue that you want. But I want it to turn out nice, so I don't know if I want to be the one doing it. <laughs> right about there. Right okay. We're going to pull this down a little lower and we're going to put one more color at the top. It's a very messy work environment, that's for sure. <laughs> And there you have it, folks. We have glazed my pot, and now it goes to the firing, the final firing. How long does that take? Uh, it takes two days. Two days? All right, so stand by, because we're going to come back here in about a week and uh, take a look at our big reveal. Thank you so much for doing this. Appreciate it. And of course, thanks to the folks here at Rookwood Pottery. Thank you.